Hey, I'm Alex from Industrial Toys, and I'm going to give you a look at Morningstar Alpha, our brand new graphic novel experience. Morningstar Alpha is pretty cool. It's written by John Scalzi, illustrated by Mike Choi, and uh, it's going to precede our Morningstar game by, by a few weeks, and it tells uh, the story of the events that lead up to, to the game. It's set about 120 years in the future when humanity receives this mysterious alien signal. And it in fact kicks off the Morningstar Protocol, which dictates that the nations of Earth will, will talk about such things um, and figure out how to respond. So the, pre the president gets on the horn with other world leaders, and they come up with a plan to go and investigate what the signal is all about. Now, 120 years in our future, we're, we're not like, you know, in, in have warp drives and are driving around other galaxies and that kind of thing, but we do have some spaceships. They are out doing things like mining asteroids, and one such ship, the Joplin, is brought in and retrofitted with the latest, greatest gear and outfitted with the best crew uh, that could be found and is uh, about to be sent off to investigate this signal. And this is how we come to meet Charlie Campbell, who is uh, at the center of our story. And one thing that we wanted to do is we wanted to make the, uh, the graphic novel reading uh, specifically tailored for the iPad. So it's not just like digitized comic book. We have scenes like this that you can explore, things that you can find. In fact, we're going to pick up a little uh, box there. And when we go and look at, at what this does, is it actually gets saved up on our server. And that box contains some goodies that we can actually use in the game. So once we get the game, we'll get in possession of that stuff and we can use it. And there's lots of other ways that uh, we connect the, the novel to the game, which we'll, we'll show you in a little bit. But if we head back over here, uh, we'll see that Charlie is about to start meeting some other members of the, of the mission. And these other crew members uh, aren't, aren't just in the book, they also are in the game as well. And here is an example of one place where we let the user make some choices. So the reader can um, decide who they want to go visit first. And we'll go visit Alyssa uh, in the armory because she takes care of all the guns. And uh, as you start meeting these folks, we also unlock a bunch of backstory for them. And this is kind of our little nerdopedia section uh, of the graphic novel. And we can go read up on some of the other crew, crew members. And if we, you want to read up on Alyssa's history and biography, we can do so. And there's, uh, there's quite a bit more in here. We have a, an illustrated timeline that will show you uh, events that take place between today and uh, the time frame of when the game is set. Um, and as you can see, there's some other sections of, of, uh, uh, of our Nerdopedia that are locked, which will become unlocked when you discover them in the game itself. So the, the communication doesn't just go from the book to the game, but it also goes from the game back to the book, which is kind of cool. Uh, but if we get back over uh, to the story, uh, we'll we'll uh, end up in the armory where Alyssa is, and she is uh, testing out one of the brand new uh, rifles that was created for the mission. And one of the Marines is there uh, with her testing it out, and he's going to take his hand at shooting at the at the uh, the shooting range. And this is right when uh, Charlie Charlie arrives, uh, has some comments to make about his accuracy, of course. And they get into a little bit of a thing here. And here we have uh, uh, an example of where we let the reader make some uh, choices and the, and the story is going to branch here based on what you choose. So we can choose the, the high road or we can choose to be pragmatic and all. Um, and the other thing that's pretty cool about this is that uh, not only does it give us a chance to give the reader a couple of different branches to go down, but we also remember those decisions up on our server. Uh, just like we do for finding things in here and those uh, decisions that you make uh, get reflected in what's presented to you in the game as well which is a nice way to tie the two together and you can in fact go back and reread pages in here reread the story make different choices find more stuff and all of that is kind of an additive way uh, uh, added to your experience uh, in the game so there's a sneak peek of morningstar alpha hope you like it and there'll be more coming soon